Yeah. Do you have outlets here? Or out here. Yes, sir. Outdoors, nice. Plug an extension cord, whatever you wish to. Um, this, this is only for dumping here. This is an extra water source, so it's when you're dumping your tanks, you could hook water up here, and it's flushing water through your, your lines. As you're, dra as you're draining as it? As you're dumping, correct. Okay. And that's only for dumping. That's to clear out everything. Correct. Flush it through. Mm-hmm. Got it. Oh, careful. Watch, the, watch yourself, honey. Alrighty. And this, not a lot of people know it, but I, I mean, I, this is what I would imagine it would be for. This is for your hose, for your dumping hose. Uh -huh. Pull that out, slide your hose in there so you don't have to stick it inside so it's not stinky, smells. whatever. And, you know, it's ventilated through these holes here. Oh. I usually tell people that, they're like, oh man, I didn't even know that. And that's a smart idea. People that have had them already, huh? Yeah, I don't know if that's exactly what it's for, but that's what I would use mine for. Alrighty. You guys wanted this other toilet? No. No. How's no. No. that ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, this is a full spare. Brand new. Uh huh. How do you keep it from getting stolen? You don't? <laughs> yeah. I'll probably just take yeah, it off and put it on the inside. Uh, special, um, special lug nuts yeah. that go on there so nobody could take them off but you. Got it. Okay, sounds good. Is that a hitch oh. it's on? Is there a hitch on it? Or? Uh, it's just like an addition here. It's uh -huh. a U bolts uh -huh. here. Yeah. Hooked on to a little uh, placard there. Mm -hmm. But you really don't need to take I'm sure, Yeah, I mean, here. this is like a, like a hitch thing yeah, here. I don't need to come you, off because the tire will... You can put a lock on there, yeah. Yeah. And so, this is where your water heater is. Black inside when you turn your water heater on. If that light shall stay on, first, uh, you want to check your gas. On. And if it doesn't, um, and if your gas is on, turn your gas off, push or start, go reset, and then turn your gas back on. There's and two try buttons. It again. You press yeah, this, this is nothing right here. It's just like an extra button. It's just empty on the inside, but there is a button in here. Okay. Um, so you'll hear it click, and then this is a, a hot, hot water pressure uh, valve here. Um, when your tanks are full, sometimes it might leak, you know, just because of the pressure buildup. There's nothing wrong with it leaking. And you always so want to make sure that this, though, this is uh, crucial. You want to make sure that that plug is in there and tightly uh, secured, because if it's not, your water will drain out. Okay, from there, yes. Mm -hmm. We had already gone on and put Teflon tape on there and plugged it in. We usually get them all ready to go in case someone wants to go camping right after they take it home. Uh, this is your outdoor shower here. How long is that hose? Um, oh, it is long. Yeah, that's... Yeah, and, and this, you could check this out from the bed on the inside. Yeah. The bunk bed, the bottom bunk. Yeah. There's storage under there. And there's a compartment where you could actually see the hose. this hose from outside, or from inside. Yeah, it looks like... Hey man, I wanted to get this back to you. Oh, cool, man. Thank you. All right. So that, that seems to be uh, the length that's gonna stop that. Yeah. Which is still nice. So you can have people instead of going in there, like they go to the pool, like at the beach or something. The river, yeah, or something. Yeah, it's great. Now, I take my trailer out uh, riding a lot, and it's nice to just be able to hose off before you go inside. Get all the dirt off. So this is going to be your city water connection here. If you're going to be stationary for a while, instead of having to fill your uh, gray tank up, you would just, um, well, your portable water tank, you just connect here and the water will be readily available for you at any time. These are your DSS here. Say Which you want what? Uh, your satellite and your TV. And they're all connected to the inside as well. Say you want to hook a projection screen on outside. You hook up to this, play your DVD inside, and you'd be able to hook up a projection screen or an alternative TV outside as well.
Um, so those like to your... stand it on a table. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could literally put a table with a television here. Oh yeah. And then hook it onto that. Right. And and put your DVD up. inside. Yep. Right. Okay. And this is uh, your power. Uh huh. Here. Uh, let's see which one it is. Uh, it's right over there. So it's that little black one right there. How does it go yeah. back in? It just yeah, it just just, it just, it just goes it just winds, winds in. in there. Got it. it kind of does like a little. Yes. And you can actually see that as well from under the uh, bottom okay. bunk in there. Yeah. You can see the the housing for it. Yes. Everything like that. Uh, so I want to explain a few things about this real quick. This is uh, your gray tank here. And this is your galley water, also your gray tank. Um, but you want to flush your black before your gray because if you, in the event that you do your gray before your black, you're still going to have that uh, waste residue in the lines there. You don't want that. Yeah. So you do your black and then your gray. Once you do your black, then you you could connect that water to well, come no, out? You could actually connect that water um, for the whole the whole process of, of dumping. Okay. You could hook it in there and, it, and it's spraying out your lines and you dump it and then you let your, your gray go. Okay. And is there normally like a hose in the dumping area? Is there like a hose like Yes, ma'am. Actually, that starter pack that's inside, it comes with a hose and it also comes with a water hose as well mm -hmm. with a filter on it. It's just a basic screen. Mm -hmm. um, and then it comes with toilet paper, it comes with gloves, it comes with a toilet treatment. Um, and what else? Oh, it comes with another adapter. Um, you know, if you're wherever you're camping, if uh, it's not. If your plug doesn't fit that, it comes with an adapter that is universal that most places. Um, it'll yeah. fit, yeah. So you just plug that on and you're good to go. Kind of looks like this actually. But without the extension cord part. So it kind of looks like that. So you put that on your plug. Yeah, it doesn't have the extension cord part like this though. And so you would plug your plug into it and then it would probably, it would have something like that on the side end here. So that way you can plug into that. Yeah. Slide out, it's on a track here. You don't really need to measure with anything. Um, unless you know your slide out's not coming out, then you'd be able to assess why it's not coming out for okay. any reason. It's just dirt. Yeah. yeah, just dirt. This is the storage I was yes. talking about here. This one does go all the way through. Why is there water uh, coming out from the top? Is that the air conditioner? That's condensation from the air conditioner. Okay. Those are just runoff valves there, or okay. like a drain. These are a five lug. Uh, they don't actually have a rim option with, with this line. You can do any five lug. I'll get you the pattern um, and you can go to any car shop you want, get any set of rims you want. Okay. Yeah, it's just they're, they're standard rims. Okay. So I'll find out what the lug pattern is for you so you know what pattern. This is a storage that goes all the way through there. It looks mm -hmm. tall. Like that. Sure. Yeah. And you do pro, um, you do this is a jack here. Bar. And yeah. that, I'll get the you lug know, your, your electric jack's not yeah. working. You can manually use that. And where is that at? Where do you put the where would you put the jack at? This here? Where would you put it? Where's the jack oh. automatic? Right oh right there. There you yes, go. Okay. This is where you manually do it. Like I said, that controller is gonna be your best friend there. Okay. And the, these do hold up your doors. Okay. And then when you get your set of keys, you can lock it all. Boom boom. Lock. And this is more specifics on uh, you know PSI of your tires. Usually the max PSI is 50. You want to have it about 45 for the uh, fluctuation of expanding and um, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. When you go in different altitudes, you know, the rubber's going to expand. Uh, different specs on your trailer there, if yeah. you wish. But all of that is also going to be in your owner's manual. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think I we've run through all the basics there. And there's a battery back there. What is that exactly? For? Yes, ma'am. That is your battery. And that's going to control um, basically everything that you need. 
Uh, if you're not plugged into uh, your power, it's going to control your your awning. It's going to control your slide out. Good um, question. What is this rust surging on here? You know, it's just wear and tear. I think uh, I couldn't really tell you what it's from. I would imagine just you know weather damaged. Yeah. Um, in the event you want it fixed, I'm sure we can uh, grind it off and uh, have someone repaint it. Yeah, because it's brand new. Yeah. That's something you'd have to address with uh, your sales representative there. Okay, I'll show it to you. Um, and, yeah. and these power paints, can you get them bigger? Can you get them? Bigger tanks? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, let me show you. Let's see if this is the longer one. No, it's not. But what you would do, if you wish to get a bigger one, and we also sell them inside as well. Um, but, you know, the next biggest uh, one is about 